to import a 3D head on the Sims board into Photoshop so you can make textures. Um, yeah, do a hair base or do a face mask. So let's go ahead and get into it. What you're going to need is Sims Force Studio. You're going to need Blender. And you're going to need some type of image editing software. It's GIMP, Photoshop, or Procreate, whatever. So let's go ahead and get into it. What you want to do? You want to go here to Sims Force Studio. Go to Cast, create Cast and Loan. So we're looking for heads. Base game part we were looking for is the hat. You can always use, I mean, body or whatever. You just gonna import the head and the clothing top. And I'm gonna just go to the first one. Cause the second one is. I'm gonna go ahead and save my file. You wanna put it in a folder. I put mine on my desktop. I just created a folder. You ain't gonna wait for it. And then you're gonna go to Mesh, Export, and then you just wanna click the same name and then just click Save again. Blender. Open it with Blender 2.79. You can open it with whatever you feel like opening it with. Whatever Blender that you have. Hit uh, this view. So I'm going to go to view. And I'm going to go to view. Right here. Hold the shift. Where's my slowly? right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna delete and delete everything that's not in there except the head I think it's gonna be head yeah head two that's just the mouth the teeth everything else I'm going to delete make sure this is clicked right here now you won't be able to select Selected by right clicking. What we're gonna do from there is we're gonna make sure everything is right. Photoshop. 
we're going to create a new document. We're going to make it 3,000 by 3,000. You can put 72 PPI. I'm going to just keep it like it is and click create. From here, you want to go over here to this little page looking thing. Click the little down arrow and we're going to make sure it's on 3D. I'm going to just go to reset 3D. From there, we are going to go here, create new 3D object, go to file. Click create. What we're looking for is the DAE file. This one. Click open. Keep everything the same unless you know what you're doing. Okay. Okay. So now we have our head imported into Photoshop. Where it says style right here under properties, go to unit texture. Base texture, make sure that's not weird. Okay. Diffuse right here. That's the texture. So what you want to do is you want to edit your textures. You want to go to image, image size. You want to make sure this little box right here is dark, darker gray. See right here it's not. So make sure that it's I'm going to put 2048 here. Click OK. And you want to save that. I'm just going to save that, that folder that we created earlier. And I'm going to save that as a PNG file, base section PNG. Click Replace. For it to save, we'll go ahead and click out of it. We already saved it, so don't save. So let's make sure the right texture is in there. Go over here to diffuse again and go to replace texture. Go to this one that you just resized, go to open. And then you just go ahead and save this document and just put in here I don't know. make sure it's large document format or you can put it in Photoshop. I'm just gonna leave it like it is and for a save. So that's the, basically the end of the tutorial. So all you need to do now is um, texture your, your sim. Put your face mask, use some eyelashes, some eyebrows, some uh, do some lipstick. Whatever, do a base, a hair base. Actually, do a hair base. And then, if you want to scroll them around, all you have to do is pull right here. Orbit 3D camera. So, if I wanted to go in here. Double click 
click on it and you want to edit it or just go here and go to edit section because i don't know why double clicking it is not working okay go to layers as your new layer go back to the 3d on this one and go to layers right here go ahead and delete this layer one get that out the way create you a new layer on top go in here the sun like this or something I don't know whatever y'all be doing I'm just doing something and then you you always want to make a new layer and go ahead and merge it down so it'll be on that on that one layer that we made on the base so we can just go in here and zoom in like that and then you got your texture now you would have to do is just save it without the base texture and then go ahead and put it in sims 4 studio and see how it looks but anyway thank you guys for watching